name is Miss Amber. I'm so glad you get to watch Faith Kids online today. Let's go see what Connect HQ wants to teach us today. We're gonna dance, we're gonna sing, we're gonna get real loud, let our voices ring, we're gonna party, we're having fun with Jesus Christ. He's got I'll be honest, I used to get kind of nervous about singing and dancing in front of my friends. But then I started thinking about how awesome God is and how he's done so many good things for me. I realized no matter how nervous I feel, God still deserves to be worshiped. So now I sing and dance to worship God whenever I get the chance. And those nervous feelings aren't such a big deal anymore. You can too. Get up on your feet and let's connect to God together.
Wednesday, exactly 10.20 a.m. Now that was fun. <laughs> what is that? Ow! Ah! Ah, why did my watch shock me? Ah! 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 What is going on? We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Mike, and this is the mishap of Maurice and Mike's multiple mistakes. Okay, I heard him scream, so where is he? What happened? Uh, why am I in pain? Uh, we're, we're sorry. Yeah, it was an accident. See, we were trying to call you, but... But I guess when I called you instead, it shorted out the watch and shocked you. Yeah, how is that possible? I told you to call me if you needed help getting a new system online. Well, that's what we did, we were calling you. We were finally thinking clearly after what happened in the lounge. Oh. Uh, wait, what happened in the lounge? Uh... Earlier Wednesday, around 10, 16 a.m. Oh! Oh! It is freezing in here! <sighs> Found the problem. When I turned off the animals, it blew the thermostat off the wall. Mike, I don't think I can take any more of this. Me neither. Luke was right. Be wise. Learn from mistakes. I think it's time to call him. Okay, you fix the thermostat, I'll call Luke. It's not working. Try again. Wait, did you hear that? Go longer. Luke! Luke, we are so sorry. Everything is wacky around here today. Yeah, I mean, we're exhausted. We've been running around all morning. In your retelling of the story, Maurice said something about taking care of animals. Oh, yeah, in the observatory. There's something wrong in the observatory, too? Well... Even earlier Wednesday, around 10, 12 a.m. Bar noises? I think there's jungle animals in there, too. To turn off the cannons, I had to reboot the voice commands. Now the Connect HQ sound archive is on shuffle. I can fix that. Mike! All you have to do is rewire the panel out in the hall, the archive panel. All right, but this better be the last mistake. I don't care as long as we get rid of the zoo. I hate to sound like a broken record, but Luke said, be wise. Learn from mistakes, I know, but we don't need Luke, we fixed it. I guess so. <laughs> what was that? Mike, that came from the lounge, and if this has anything to it's do with- It's completely unrelated. Well, let's get up to the lounge before anyone else does. You're mad. I'm frustrated. You are leaders. All right, you wouldn't call me. Did either of you think to look to the Bible for some guidance? Yes, yes, we did that. We did that in the skit vision room when we were trying to fix the cannons we broke. You're mad. I can see on your face, I know you, you're mad. 
even, even earlier. Probably like 10.06 a.m. The, the cotton ball cannons are malfunctioning. What did you do? What did I do? I said we should call for Luke. I think we just need to calm down and actually call Luke this time. Listen, ah! Maurice, my good, handsome, smart friend. We don't need Luke. We can handle this ourselves. Just a band-aid and we'll patch it right up. I guess you're right. It's like being bombarded by tiny clouds. Yes, but if we don't shut them off, eventually this room will fill with cotton balls and Luke will definitely know that we didn't call for help. So what are huh? we gonna do? We're in this together. Ah! What did he do? Wait, I got it. Let's check the Bible. I'm pretty sure cotton balls are not in the Bible. Either we search the Bible for wisdom or we call Luke. Okay, fine. We will search wisdom yeah. and see what comes up. Here, let's Ow. try this one. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Is alive. Joshua was a mighty warrior. Hello. God used him to lead the Israelites into the land God promised them. Now, God had given Joshua and the Israelites many victories over the people who lived in the land. He sure has. You wouldn't believe what God did to the wall of Jericho. Knocked it down. And now everyone had heard about all that God had done for Joshua and the Israelites including some people who lived nearby called the Gibeonites. They were pretty scared, so they decided to trick Joshua. Now, remember the plan. We have these old bags that are torn and this worn out clothing. This will trick Joshua and the Israelites to think we came from a faraway country instead of just nearby. We'll get him to make a peace treaty with us, and then we won't be destroyed like those guys in Jericho. Got it. We have come from a country far from here, Please make a peace treaty with us. How do we know you're telling the truth? Maybe you live near us, and we can't make a peace treaty with you if you do. If you make a peace treaty with us, we'll be your servants. You didn't answer my question. Tell me the truth. Who are you? Where do you come from? Really? We live very far away from here. We heard all that God has done for you in Egypt and against all the people living here. The leaders of our country told us to come and make a peace treaty with you. As you can see, we've come a long way. All our food is gone and our clothes are worn out. Let me see for myself. Looks good to me. Joshua and the Israelites asked the Gibeonites all the right questions, but they didn't do the most important thing asked God for wisdom on what to do. So they made a treaty with the Gibeonites. What? The Gibeonites live nearby? They tricked us. I want to meet with those guys. Now I know the truth. You live close to us? Why did you lie and say that you live far away? We know that God told you to destroy all the people living in the land. We were afraid, so we tricked you into making a peace treaty with us. Well, we have to keep our promise, so we won't destroy you, but you will have to be our servants and carry water for the priests. That's fine with us. Joshua had made a big mistake. But I'm not going to make that mistake again. Next time, I'm going to ask God what he wants to do, no matter how things look. We can guess that Joshua learned from his mistake with the Gibeonites, because after that time, in every adventure Joshua had, we see him asking God what he wanted him to do first. See? Joshua made mistakes too! Yeah, but he learned from it! And he didn't keep making the same mistake over and over! We can learn from his mistake with the Gibeonites! Or we could fix it ourselves! The cannons are voice activated, so stop! Ugh. Ugh. That didn't work! Wait a minute! 
if they're voice activated, then I can reboot the sound archive. Okay. That should do it. Nope. <laughs> it's such a delicate attack. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Was that a cow? Yeah, and it sounded like it was coming from the, the observatory. observatory. So, the skit vision room is covered in cotton balls. Yeah. Bad, but it, it, it could be worse. And we'll just get to some fixing, you yeah. know? Oh my goodness, it's worse. It may have been a little mishap in the field office simulator. Just a little, a little, a little, little. Earlier Wednesday, say 10.03 a.m. Oh. No, what did we do? Maybe we should have called Luke for help. Maybe we can call him now. Maurice, my good, handsome friend. It's just a short, we can fix this. Well, all right, maybe I can help. Surely I can fix this. Uh, let's see. What was that? Oh, that's weird. It's the cannon alarm. But we don't have any cannons at Connect HQ, do we? Oh, no, we do. Come on. What? So let me get this straight. You have broken something in the lounge, the observatory, the skit vision room, and the field office simulator? Don't forget your watch. I don't believe you guys. What? What's the last thing I said to you before I left the hub earlier today? The earliest part of the story, Wednesday, 10 a.m. exactly. It's a big day for HQ, because today we're going green. From here on out, all of HQ's power will be clean and renewable. How about that? Yay! Hey, I'm sorry I can't be here with you guys today. Alyssa and Dot wanted me to help judge the who can be the Star Spangled Banneriest competition? Oh, don't worry about it, Luke. Between Mike and I, we've got mechanics and computers handled. It can be tricky, so if you need me, you just call me. You know, I've read over the manual twice, so I've got it. Okay. So I think the first place that we need to start is mm. up at... Just to be crystal clear, because the last time I asked you guys for help, you almost blew up the kitchen because you wouldn't ask for help. Ah, we won't make that mistake twice. Well, if you do, you'll be like the vomit verse. Vomit, vomit verse? Gross! Oh. It's found in the book of Proverbs, chapter 26, verse 11. Say it like this. Okay. Proverbs 26, 11. Proverbs 26, 11. As a dog returns to its vomit, blah! As a dog returns to its vomit, blah! So a fool repeats his foolishness. So a fool repeats his foolishness. We're no fools, we won't repeat our foolishness. We can handle this. Hmm. Well, be wise, learn from your mistakes, and I'll see you guys later. And remember, if you need me, give me a holler. What? All right, well, let's get started. I think the first thing we need to do is reset the system. Wait, are you sure that's such a good idea? Maybe we should read the manual or ask for help. You know, that way we don't have the same problem and we don't have to deal with that puke verse that Luke was talking about. Maurice! A good man. Anybody can reset a system. I don't know, Mike. I mean, what if something goes wrong? You know? Trust me. It's simple. It's as easy as Control, Alt, and Delete. Huh, the field office simulator computer is offline. You don't think that's because... Completely unrelated, but... Yep, and that's how this whole thing got started. We're, we're sorry, Luke. Uh, I know we should have asked for help, but Maurice tried to tell me. Sorry that we went back to our foolish vomit. Everyone makes mistakes. The important thing is, is that we learn from them. Well, maybe we can make a transmission for the archive. 
to remind us and to help people dealing with that problem. Well, that's a great idea. Just as long as you didn't break any of the drones. We didn't go near the drones. Man, we made a lot of mistakes today. And mistakes happen. We're all human. But probably the biggest mistake that we made is that we didn't ask for help when we needed it. And because of that, we made even more mistakes. The Bible says it's like a dog returning to its vomit. Oh. And it says it in today's verse. Say it with us. Proverbs 26, 11. As a dog returns to its vomit, ugh, so a fool repeats his foolishness. Joshua made a mistake, but he learned and gained wisdom from it. After his mistake, he trusted God to show him the right way to lead the Israelites. We didn't want to bother Luke, and we thought we knew it all, so we tried to do things ourselves. Then, after we broke a few things, we were scared to ask for help and kept on making the same mistake. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. We can learn from them and move on. And it's a great way to get God's wisdom. And you can grow in wisdom by learning from other people's mistakes, so you don't have to learn everything the hard way. We can grow in wisdom if we remember this point. Be wise, learn, learn from mistakes. And I hope you can apply this in your own life. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Guys, I'm so glad you watched that video with me today. Let's pray. God, I thank you for each and every kid that watched this video. I pray that you will be with them every single moment of the day as they, as they live their life and their week. God, I pray that they will know that you are always with them and will lead and guide them in every moment. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, remember to tell your parents about the Facebook group to find out more things about Faith Kids. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.